In this demonstration we're going to look at using print management in Windows 10. So we'll have a look at how we add print service to print management, we'll view a list of all connected printers, we'll view manage printers and then what we'll do finally is we'll create and use filters. So we're on our Windows 10 box, we're just going to click on our start menu and then in our start menu what we're going to do is just going to find our admin tools. So we're going to find that by scrolling down, find our admin tools and then in our admin tools what we're looking for now is we're just looking for print management. So we'll come into print management. Now we'll just maximize this up. And what we can see in print management is we can see all printers. So if we have a look at this point here, it will show us all of the printers we have. So we've got fax, print PDF, XPS, sent to OneNote. We can see all the drivers. So we'll see it with those printers. We can see that we don't have any printers that aren't ready and we don't have any printers with jobs. Then if we have a look down, we can see print servers. So currently we have our local print server, lon-cl1. So what I'm going to do as well as I have another print server within the organization, and that other print server is lon-dc1. So we'll just browse that through. So we'll just turn on our network discovery. And uh, what that will do is that will then allow me to search through the network itself. So we'll just click cancel at this point here. So all we're going to do is we're just going to add this to the list. And that's now added in lon hyphen DC1 as well. And then all we'll do is we'll just select OK. And now what we've got is if we go to all printers, we can now see we've got 10 printers because we also have the printers associated with lon hyphen DC1. So what we can now do, if we just right click on printer one and have a look at the properties, we can see the information relating to printer one. So we can see on the general page, printer one, we can see the paper type. We can see its render settings. We can see its printer name, so what it's shared as. We can see the port, so it's associated with LPT port one or the parallel port. See information relating to the advanced settings. We can see who has permissions to actually manage the printer or print to the printer. And we can see any specific device settings that relate to that printer. So we won't modify anything, we'll just select OK. Then if we just right click on the printer again, what we can do is we can deploy with group policy. So when we select deploy with group policy, what we can do is we can now set or send out to this printer with a group policy. So all we do at this point here is we could browse through, specify the group policy we want to associate and then send out the printer with that group policy. We won't at this point, we'll just select the cancel button. So what we've got in the case of our all printers, what we can see is we can see the printers associated with LON CL1 and also as well with DC1. Now potentially we might have hundreds of printers. So one of the things we may want to do is we may want to create our own custom uh, filter that we can put in place so we can only see certain types of printers or the certain printers that have a certain state. So at this point here we'll just add a new printer filter. And in the case of the name here, what we're going to do is we're just going to go for paused printers. Now we're not going to bother with the description, but I will display the total number of items next to the name of the filter because I'm interested uh, if I am creating this filter in exactly what it's reporting back. Then we'll just select our next button. And then what we've got is we're now filling out the criteria. So what we're going to do at this point here is just come to our field filter. So as you can see, we have quite a few things in here. So we've got printer name, queue status, job and queues, server name, comments, is shared, location, its share name, driver name, driver version, provider, and driver type. What I'm interested in here is the queue status. And in the case of the queue status, in the condition, I'm going to say is exactly. And then the value, what we'll do is go for paused. Now what we'll do is select our next button. Now in the case of uh, notifications, what I could do at this point here is as we can see, we can get an email notification sent to us or we could run a script. What I'm going to do at this point here is I'm just going to select the finish button. I don't have an email server. Then what we have is we have our pause printers. So in the case of our pause printers, we can see we have two, we can see printer one and we can see printer three. If we just come back to our all printers, if we just come to printer four and just right select and then go to pause printing, then what we can see in our pause printers, custom filter, we can see the three printers. 
and that's the end of this very quick demonstration of having a look at the print management functionality within Windows 10. Thank you.